a couple days ago, but you know, you have some time yet. The, this front's going to be pouring in here, you know, probably around six o'clock, maybe seven o'clock tomorrow evening. So it's going to be warm out ahead of it. Once the front comes through, yeah, those temperatures are really going to take a plunge. Now, uh, this is one of my hose bibs. I've wrapped it here, but you know, to make it easy for you, all you have to do is take a, a blanket, an old t-shirt. I took an old t-shirt here, a towel, and you can just kind of wrap your hose bib. Just give it a little wrapping. Doesn't take that long at all. And we're talking about primarily, you know, Friday morning into Saturday morning. The coldest temperature we've had so far this year, it actually happened last January. We got down to 18. Before that, it was 14 degrees. So we certainly know it can get cold. And I think probably Saturday morning, we're going to be around 18, 19 degrees, the coldest air we're going to see. Now, you can also do this. Hose bib behind here. You can buy this. You can go to Lowe's, Home Depot, any hardware store. Very inexpensive and easy to put on. They'll show you how. You just go there, ask them for one of these uh, styrofoam units here, put it over your hose bib. That'll help you a little bit. Of course, you want to drip your uh, faucets and, you know, put that space heater. Just open up your cabinets where your pipes are, your PVC, whatever the case may be, and uh, just keep it warm in there. You should be on the the good side doing that. All right, so here's a look at our future temperatures. And this is Friday morning at 6 o'clock. The cold air is going to be in place, but you can see those temperatures. They're going to slowly warm up throughout the day. But again, we're going to be looking at about 39, 40 degrees for the high temperature expected on your Friday. The winds are going to be up. The winds will gradually decrease as we make our way throughout your Friday. Here's what we're talking about the wind department. 20 tomorrow, they'll start to pick up tomorrow night. 30 on Friday, then the wind's not going to be concerned for the upcoming holiday weekend and even into next week. Let's talk about our wind chill. And here is a look by 7 o'clock, what we could see. Uh, we could be looking at some single digits and temperatures right around 12 in Las Cruces. What we're really concerned about are our eastern counties. You're going to be looking at temperatures, wind chills, what it feels like in the negative numbers. Now, the wind chill does not affect your car radiator, your pipes only. Uh, humans and animals. That's what we have to be concerned about. You have to be concerned about your pets as well out there with the wind chills by late tomorrow night and even into Friday. All right, let's talk about your uh, temperatures outlook 65 for tomorrow. That's out ahead of the front. 39 behind the front on Friday, 18 by Saturday morning. 46 will be the high on Saturday on your Christmas Eve. That is, we make our way into Sunday. We're looking at 54 degrees. We talked about this before. Last Christmas, we were 73, almost a record high on Christmas Day. Uh, this year, quite different. And then we'll see our temperatures gradually warming up above average into next week, Mark. Hi, Doppler. Thank you. We